Hey guys, Andy here, and today on Andy Talks Japan, I'm going to be talking to you about when is the best time to study abroad in Tokyo. So, let's just jump right into it, right? <laughs> anyway, so uh, just for a little bit of context, I'm studying here at Lakeland University of Japan, out here in Tokyo, in Shinjuku to be more specific. And I arrived here at the beginning of 2020, woo, so I entered into the winter, spring semester, I guess they call it the spring semester here. Um, yeah, I started at the beginning of the year, <laughs> basically. And, you know, for me, I found that um, it's the best time to go because it's uh, a fresh new year. It's kind of, you know, especially if you're studying abroad, a lot of times people do it as like a resolution, you know, so it's kind of like a new year, new me type thing. And plus, it'll give you like a full year. Uh, it'll give your year like a fresh start rather than starting you know, at the end of the year or the middle of the year or whatever. So that's that part's pretty nice. And plus, uh, a lot of people, um, especially if you're traveling at like the uh, like Christmas time slash New Year's time, there's not a lot of Japanese people uh, traveling abroad during that time. So you'll, it'll be a lot easier for you to get like uh, plane tickets and won't be quite as crowded at the airport and stuff. It'll still be crowded, but less so, <laughs> basically. And uh, if you decide to study abroad in the summertime, um, the advantage of that is that if you have to stay in a dormitory, and there are a lot of schools that have dormitory restrictions, so um, if it's your first like six months out here in Japan, a lot of schools will force you to stay in their dorms for the first six months and then afterwards you know you have to find an apartment guest house wherever the case um, <clears throat> but the cool thing about Lakeland is that they don't have any of those restrictions so you can pretty much live wherever you want and also just a little side note uh, for prospective veterans looking to study abroad at Lakeland or Temple or wherever else um, if you were previously stationed in Japan before you transition out um, I believe those six months can be waived based on your previous station or if you have like a spousal visa or something like that, you ain't got to worry about that. And I think, you know, you might be able to get like a waiver or something like that depending on the school. But again, you know, it, it uh, is best to just ask them directly uh, just to be sure. But, you know, just, uh, you know, keep that in mind, I guess. So, but again, for the summer, if there are dormitory restrictions and you have to stay in the dorm, the summer semesters are the shortest, so you get charged the least amount of money to, uh, to stay in the dorms. And uh, also, you know, paying for school and stuff like that, same thing. And uh, if you're coming here in the fall, then you are, uh, you know, again, like with spring, uh, you know, fall is probably the longest semester. So, you know, if you're worried about tuition and stuff, definitely pay more in the fall versus the spring. It's marginal, but uh, it's definitely a noticeable difference. Um, you also got to worry about, you know, again, dormitory accommodations and things like that. And, uh, you know, also another point I forgot to mention for the, the summer semester, kind of a disadvantage, aside from the, uh, the really oppressive heat, <laughs> that Japanese summertime heat, Hot and sticky, let me tell you. But aside from that, um, the main thing is uh, Golden Week. So the airports are going to be very busy. It's going to be really hard for you to buy tickets because there's a lot of Japanese people looking to travel abroad during that time. And there's a little bit of that for the, uh, the fall as well. There's a lot of uh, travel time for that. Um, but it's most notable, especially for Golden Week, which is you know the beginning of the summer semesters out here. So that's another thing to take into consideration so yeah um if i had a choice i'd probably do it in the summertime just because uh you know the tuition and stuff's less if i had dormitory restrictions you know i'd be paying less for a dorm but uh you know for my particular case winter time slash springtime beginning of the year <laughs> however it divvies up is the best time to study abroad in japan so with that said guys this is the Andy Sign. Sign for now. As always, we'll see you next time.
Catch you later, guys. Bye. And if you have any questions about studying abroad in Tokyo, be sure to leave them in the comments down below in the booby de boops and I will do my best to answer them. So really looking forward to uh, reading you guys' comments down below. <laughs> All right. Bye, guys.